How long is it going to take you to become a millionaire investing in real estate, right? There's not an exact answer to that question, okay? For everybody, it's different, right? Myself, it took less than five years to become a millionaire through investing in real estate. But what we're going to do today, folks, what we are going to do is show you a path to becoming a millionaire in real estate through flipping houses. In this plan, if you follow it to the T, exactly as I lay it out, you will make your first million in real estate flipping houses in exactly 10 years. Let's jump into it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James. I am here to help you accomplish your real estate goals. Now, I think a lot of the stuff we talk about is applicable to anybody, no matter where they live, no matter where they invest. You could take the things we teach you here on Holton Wise TV, apply them in your home market, or you can go one step further if you so choose, and you could partner with us here, and we will work with you no matter where you live and be your boots-on-the-ground team in the market we are in, which is Cleveland, Ohio. And that, folks, is exactly what this Los Angeles native named JJ is doing today. JJ is partnering with Holton Wise to flip houses. And JJ, I'm going to show you exactly how to go from zero to to hero i don't know if you're zero but they arrived i thought that'd be cool to say i want to go i want to show you brother how to go from where you are right now which is starting at the ground floor to making a million i'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna do it step by step the process is gonna take 10 years under the plan i'm showing you today if you want, you can, of course, accelerate it, right? Because what I have, what I'm going to lay out for you is five flips a year. Five flips a year, making $20,000 on average per flip. If you have the ability, the funding, right, to do 10 flips a year, then it's not going to take 10 years. It's only going to take five years. If you could double that, it could be two and a half years. You get what I'm saying? I know you, JJ, raised funds. You raised funds from some other investors, right? So... With where you're at, with how much money you have, I think five is a reasonable goal, but you could always accelerate that as you get more money. So without further ado, let's break out the property I have for you today that is going to get you on your way to making your first milli investing in real estate. Two, please. Welcome back, folks. Now, this is where it gets good, right? This is where it gets good. This is one of the houses that's going to put us on the way to making a mill. 3303 Ingleside Drive, Parma, 44134. It's listed at 119900 We need to make approximately $20,000 on a flip. Now, here's the thing with flips, folks. It's probably my best flip. The best flip I ever did, I think I made like... Oh, I don't know, like $110,000, $110, I believe that was the best flip I ever did. I think the worst flip I ever did, I, I think I lost 40000 right? So uh, is every flip going to be a success? No. I mean, I, I like to think I'm pretty smart. I'm pretty good at what I do, right? I've sold $200 million worth of real estate. But even myself, even I make mistakes. That is par for the course. Now, here's the thing, though. When you're shooting, you're shooting for those big flips, those huge paydays, you're swinging for the fences. That's how uh, your level of risk can increase, and you could end up doing a flip where you actually lose money, right? If you stick to more modest flips, uh, smaller renovations, there's fewer variables at play that can uh, you know, cause your flip to go haywire. It's like baseball, right? Like I said, swinging for the fences, right? The guys... 
that are leading the league in home runs are usually the same guys that are leading the league in strikeouts, right? If you're trying to hit for a single, you're not striking out as often. So think of that. And this, this is going to be a perfect, like, low-impact flip, and we're going to try to make $20,000 off of it, right? It's a little ranch, okay, in Parma, Ohio, right? And I love it. I love everything about it, right? As soon as we get to the inside, you'll see why I love it. The outside is fine. It's part for the course. Here's the inside. Look at it. Looks like crap. Oh, my God. There's just crap everywhere, right? There's just, just junk. It's dated. Ugh. It's just like, meh. I can smell the cigarette smoke stench permeating through my screen. I feel like, you know, like this house just like looks, ugh. Like, all right, you take the, the show, like Million Dollar Listing or, you know, whatever fancy real estate show you're watching on TV and you're looking at fancy real estate and then you see a picture like this. <laughs> like, is there anyone at home? who's looking through houses and they see this picture and they're like, man, let me get some of that. That's what I want right there. No, I mean, it's even got the damn shot. I mean, come on. Like that does not appeal to anybody, any like first time home buyers, right? This house does not say anything uh, to people about like, hey, buy me, buy me, right? It's just messy. It's cluttered. It's just, it looks like crap, right? In that that, folks, that's beautiful, okay? That's beautiful. Oh, by the way, this electrical panel, we're going to talk about this later. Don't let me forget. Now, you got to know stuff about the markets you're investing, folks. You got to know stuff. You got to know stuff about your markets. You want to become a millionaire flipping houses, you better know what the fuck you're doing, right? Cool thing is if you work with Holton Wise, you don't have to know what the fuck you're doing because I know what the fuck I'm doing, okay? But if you're going to do this shit at home, you better know what the fuck you're doing at your your home market, okay? But here in Cleveland, the Cleveland market, this area, this neighborhood, Parma, okay? These little bungalows, little ranches like this. The buyers, the target buyers are usually your first-time home buyers, those kind of folk, right? This is... uh. One of the cheaper places, the cheaper areas in the Cleveland market where the prices are driven almost exclusively by owner occupants. It's like the cheapest place you can get in where that's that's the case. Okay. Yeah, there's some rentals, but they're few and far between. A lot of people watch Holton Wise TV to learn real estate investing and they want to buy rental properties because that's what we do. We do a lot of that, okay? But today we're talking flips. We're making a million dollars exclusively through flips. Now did I make my first million exclusively through flips? No, I think a, an astute real estate investor is utilizing all kinds of real estate investment strategies, as has I. But for the purposes of this show today, I want to talk to you about getting a milli in 10 years, doing five deals just like this per year. Now, knowing the market, a lot of you folks watching Holton Wise TV, you see all these properties, these duplexes, these single-family homes in a lot of the C-grade neighborhoods in the Cleveland area, right? And if you don't know what C-grade means, check out the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. It's in the show notes below. You can check it out on the tools and resource section at HoltonWise.com. This is a B neighborhood, and those C neighborhoods, mostly rental properties, the prices are uh, driven by real estate investors, people trying to use these as real estate investment vehicles. Yes, there are owner-occupants, but there's a ton of real estate investors. You get to Parma, yes, there are some rentals, but most of it is derived by owner-occupants. So those are the people that uh, are buying these properties. I don't think any first-time home buyer looked at this house and is like, yeah, dude, let me get that, right? Like, Where'd that freaking bed go? Yeah, I love that picture. That's like the best. Where is it? Where is it? Do, 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 do. Like, who is looking at this? This is an even better one than this one. You get like lighting and then it's just even crummier, right? No first time home buyer sees this picture and is like, yes, I cannot wait to get into that house, right? Looks, looks bad, right? So. The proper way to sell a house like this, even if you don't have money to renovate it, you got to move out, dude. Get your crap out of the house and sell it empty. Jesus. But they're not doing that. And that's awesome because that's a pain point, okay? That's a pain point. That's something that we as real estate investors are going to jump on. This is how we can get the property cheap enough to allow us to flip it, right? Because we know, right? If that was a C-grade neighborhood picture and you're trying to sell to rental property investors and that's the tenant's crap, it doesn't matter. You're just showing the investor, like, hey, dog, this is what you're getting, right? This is what the fucking room looks like, okay? And the investor doesn't care, 
right? The investor wants to know if the price to rent ratio makes sense. Is the cap rate good, right? And pictures like that would be acceptable. But real estate investors are not going to be buying this house, right? People who want to live there need to like the house. They need to want it. It needs to be desirable. That looks like crap, right? So that's where knowing your market comes into play. So we know who our target buyer base is. And I know that this ain't going to cut it for them. And that's going to allow us to swoop in with a low ball offer. The most we could pay and still make our 20K profit for this house is going to be 81000 then we're going to spend approximately 37k. Holton Wise will do the whole renovation. After we do that, we will have a house beautifully done, ready to go to a first-time home buyer selling for 150, right? It's going to sell for 150. When it's all said and done, you'll make 20k. I got the sales and uh, sales commission closing costs in there, right? That 37k renovation, what's that going to entail, right? We're going to paint all the walls after we, you know, all the crap gets moved out, paint all the walls, do the floors, do the kitchen. There is a half finished basement in there, so we're going to do that up. And then I got 2K uh, for electrical, right? That electric panel looks a little old to me, so I just threw that in here. We'll have to learn more about that at the home inspection, but I think we'll probably need to do some electrical work here. Nothing major, right? That's a $37,000 rental. Just a simple, easy rental, right? Not like one of those ones we're trying to make 100K. And we're doing like an $80,000 rental. We're doing foundation work. We're just doing cosmetic stuff. So we are literally just taking a house that looks like a turd sandwich and polishing it up, making it look pretty. And first-time homebuyers are going to look at the picture. They're going to see the beautiful new kitchen. We're going to get some stainless steel appliances in there. The kitchen doesn't have to be extravagant. These are first-time homebuyers, folks. I'm talking Home Depot, Lowe's quality cabinetry. Uh, you know, we'll put some uh, granite or quartz in there, and then we'll get like a $2,000 stainless steel appliance package. Nothing insane. And then the rest of the house will just be crisp. It'll be clean. It'll be either white walls or gray walls uh, with some white trim and some finished hardwoods, some fresh carpet in the bedrooms. Do the same to the basement, that little half-finished area, and that's it. That's how you do it. It's now a $150,000 house, right? People will see that. It'll be crisp. It'll be clean. They'll love it, right? Because what they're not going to love is what they're presenting here. And that is going to make us 20K, right? All we got to do is do that five times a year, right? Got to do that less than every other month, okay? You do that five times a year, you're making $100,000 a year. You make 100K a year flipping houses for 10 years. Guess what? That's how you make your first million. You make your first million one deal at a time. Everybody who's ever become a millionaire in real estate, myself included, we all had to do our first deal, and then our second deal, and then our third deal. You get the point, one deal at a time, right? You're Googling like, yo, how do I become a millionaire flipping houses? It's not that fancy, folks. This is what it really looks like. 20K at a time, 20K at a time. Stack five of these a year. And like I said, if you could do 10 of these a year, well, you cut your timeline in half to five years. You could do 20, it's two and a half years. You get what I'm saying? That's how it's done. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.